My name is Karina and welcome to my channel, Life's Little Things. I have a very delicious recipe for you to try. This one is another recipe that we fell in love with through Taste of Home magazine. And this one is called Beer Brat Chili. So if you want to see how this recipe is made, come along. For this recipe, you are going to need a slow cooker. It says a five quart slow cooker. So it's not a real big one, but I'm gonna use, this is the only one I have. So this is an eight quart. Seasonings, you need one garlic clove minced. And I'm going to use the already minced for ya garlic. A fourth cup of chili seasoning. One can, they say southwestern black beans. I could only find just plain black beans. So that's what I'm using. A can of the white kidney beans or cannellini beans. And those need to be rinsed and drained. Can of Italian diced tomatoes undrained. Diced tomatoes and green chilies undrained. Fully cooked beer bratwurst links. And you are going to slice those. And Jason put those on the grill for us last night. So that's going to give us some extra flavor. One and a half cups of frozen corn. I always go over because Jay loves corn. So we'll see about that. <laughs> one medium onion, finely chopped. And one medium sweet red pepper, chopped. And that is what you need to make this chili. Okay, this is basically a dump and go recipe. So we're gonna dump in um, the chopped onion. The Italian diced tomatoes, undrained. They call for the Southwestern black beans, but I didn't find those, like I said. So the black beans, undrained. One can of the mild diced tomatoes with green chilies, undrained. One can of the white cannellini beans or great northern beans. Those have to be washed and drained. So I did that. Calls for a clove of garlic, but I'm actually putting in two. This is a teaspoon, and it call, it says that one clove is a half, but it doesn't really make a difference. One diced red pepper. And a fourth cup of chili powder. Your bratwurst cooked and cut up. And I'm going to actually add the whole bag of corn. When I made it before, I did the same thing and it was perfectly fine. I'm going to stir this together. You want to put the cover on your crock pot and then you're going to set it on low. So. for five to six hours. I think I'll go six on ours. And that's it. When your six hours are up, or five hours, whichever you choose, you've got dinner. I will show you what it looks like when it's okay, finished. Okay, it still has about 50 minutes left on it, but we are gonna take a peek. It smells fantastic. This is Jason opening this up. Oops, sorry, I'm in the way. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, you have to try this recipe. It is so delicious and flavorful. Okay, I'll show you when we get it in our bowls after a little bit here. 